Hey, hey, hello everybody and welcome back to my workshop of wonder. Got another interesting little project that I thought I would share with you all. I made this nifty little and dare I say elegant screwdriver that's made specifically to loosen that giant screw that's on a hand plane. You know, the one I'm showing you right there. The one that holds the cap iron to the iron. Had an extra Victorian doorknob here. This comes from the early 1890s, so it's a good probably 130 years old or so. And you can see it's very ornate, highly decorated. It's not solid brass, it's hollow, but it's very heavy. And the shaft came from an old Yankee screwdriver shaft. So stay tuned. Not a very intricate build, but interesting nonetheless. I picked up this Yankee screwdriver a while back and it does not have the screwdriver tips for it. I was in a used tool store and I'm not familiar with Yankee screwdrivers but this says Yankee on it and I did a little research this seemed to be the type of thing I was looking for but unfortunately when I brought it home lo and behold it doesn't fit this guy's a little too big so I had another idea uh, one of the challenges of a hand plane is they all come with the screw to hold the cap iron to the iron it's awfully large and this screwdriver is a reasonable size. Could get by with a bigger one, but it's hard to find them much bigger than this. And I'm thinking if I could mount this screwdriver onto this doorknob. This is a solid brass Victorian doorknob. And I'm thinking if I could mount those together somehow, I'd have a pretty swanky screwdriver for taking apart hand planes. I tried cutting this with a hacksaw and it looks as though the hacksaw blade digs into it pretty well so I don't think this is hardened steel. Maybe maybe the tip is. But in any case I think I should be able to do something with it. So I made this cradle that I'm hoping will help me hold this more level both uh, in this orientation and in this orientation or viewed this way hold it level this way and this way if you catch my meaning Still got a ways to go. Well, it took me three rounds of just filing the flats. And that seems to be, boy, a good snug fit. Very nice. The way this goes, this is not threaded here. There's a screw that goes into a threaded rod that's in there. Or I should say a rod with a hole in it that's threaded. So what I need to do is mark a hole, drill it, and tap it, and I should be all set. There's a burr from the drilling operation on this side.
And there you have it. This has got to be the swankiest hand plane screwdriver out there. There's the pattern on it. This is a Victorian doorknob from the 1890s. It's solid brass. Highly decorated as you can see. And when you're working on a hand plane you have this screw here which takes a very large screwdriver much larger than this one but large screwdrivers also tend to be very long so it's convenient to have a large screwdriver in a short package to loosen up that screw and tighten it back down and I'll tell you, this is the real deal when it comes to antique brass. I mean, look at that. There's greens on there, browns on there. And just look at the intricacy of it. Just imagine what this looked like when it was new. Here's a shot of a similar doorknob mounted on a door in a Victorian house. Check out the plate behind the doorknob. It has the same pattern on it. Man, those Victorians really had style. Well, I'm looking forward to using this guy, and also I'm going to enjoy the bragging rights that comes with having the swankiest hand plane screwdriver out there. So please like, subscribe, give me a comment, let me know what you think. And as always, stay tuned for the next one.